paratroopers assigned to the 1st Brigade Combat Team receive training regarding their duties as Electronic Warfare Officers or EWOs for the upcoming exercise at the Joint Readiness Training Center at Fort Polk, Louisiana. The training covered loading and performing maintenance for the Duke system, which is a vital tool in combating improvised explosive devices in a deployed environment. Uh, today what we're doing is uh, we're going over the fundamentals of crew. So it's counter RC electronic warfare. So uh, basically is the devices that we use to combat um, IEDs. We're going over the Duke systems, uh, the V3. These are surrogates, they're not the actual systems, but they simulate a lot of the effects that uh, we utilize in theater and a combat environment to suppress and deny um, RC threats. We're going over the uh, fundamentals of what the system is, the buttonology, how they work, and how to put them together put the load sets in them, but basically are the instructions for the devices. Chief Warrant Officer Dorvin Smith explains why he feels this training is important. It's kind of a, uh, a train the trainer course. You know, the more we know, the more we can provide to the actual uh, operators of these systems on the battlefield, uh, basically how to employ them uh, to save their lives as well as any host nation or other military service partners we are on the battlefield with. Ensuring that all service members are protected from radio control threats is the business of the EWO. Without crew systems such as the Duke, they would not be able to pass and maneuver safely in their areas of operation, which is vital to mission accomplishment. Reporting from Fort Polk, Louisiana, I'm Army Sergeant Noel Garrick.